When creepy guys ask me what is my favorite position, I tell them, anatomical, and then get lost. Kidding. What do I mean by anatomical? These plumb lines, get it? Indicate that the muscles are balanced left to right. The skeleton to my left, is totally out of alignment. The deep muscles, that layer of muscle that clings to the bones, if they were in place, and were all the right length and strength, would put that skeleton right. When there is physical pain, and or tingling and numbness in your body, not disease or organ related, it is always, 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 due to tight muscles acting on the skeletal bones, not the bones themselves. A massage therapist and a chiropractor would agree that this skeleton is out of alignment. They would also agree when there is a pinched nerve coming through the vertebrae causing pain tingling and numbness into the muscle that it stimulates, or, when the vertebral disc is pressing on the nerve root. However, the massage therapist would feel the muscles, and notice where the tight muscles are pulling the skeletal system out of balance. Whereas the chiro would tell you that the skeletal system is out of balance without mentioning that the muscles are causing the problem. Looking at this diagram, notice that the light blue arrow points to the right elevated hip. The right side quadratus limborum, or QL is activated. When muscle is activated, it pulls from the center, becoming shorter and thicker. Keep in mind that your skeletal system, is a loose framework of bone, and bones move when muscle is activated. Of course, the left side QL, purple arrow, does the same. If you were laying on your stomach, the figures pointed to by the yellow and green arrows would indicate that there is an ilius boas contraction to the right, or left side. Our bodies, our muscles, are meant to move in unison, with muscles pulling and then releasing. However, in our day-to-day -day activities the muscles don't act in unison because we are not always moving fully. When the activated muscles don't get stretched back completely and then activated again, then they get short and thick. They then get the loose framework, our skeletal system, to respond, but in a painful way, as shown to my right. That skeleton, would be an x-ray of a person in a lot of pain. But the news only gets worse. Where the chiropractor and the massage therapist differ is the why and the number of required treatments. Why are the vertebrae suddenly pinching off the nerve? What changed? The only thing that changes in a short period of time is when muscles contract, tighten and thicken. Some think age and gravity. However, bones aren't drawn together because of gravity. Gravity keeps us on the ground. Muscles keep us, up off the ground. Bones come together because the surrounding muscles pull them together, decreasing the space between them. We'll call this the mortar and pedestal effect. The end of one bone grinds the material between the bones, causing arthritis, and or a wearing away of cartilaginous material such as vertebral discs and the meniscus. Since the cause is tight muscles, then the logical solution can only be to return those tight muscles back to the desired length and strength and create space between the bones. You will feel looser and taller. The vertebrae above is happy. The one below, is angry. It's pressing on a nerve. If the hand here stops applying pressure, the vertebrae go back into position and the disc moves back between them. The skeletal system will return to the anatomical position and your body will begin to heal, and the pain will go away. It is really as simple as that. So, if you have pain, take advantage of the experience that Gary has. Oh, the difference in the number of treatments is 4 to 5 for chiros, but Gary can do it in 1. The spinal vertebrae are not the only location. All joints have muscles involved, moving them about and holding them together. I would like to simplify things, in order not to complicate things. The muscles on the upper leg attach to the bony prominences of the lower leg, see the purple solid arrows? Conversely, the muscles on the lower leg attach to the bony prominences of the upper leg, indicated by the yellow dash arrows. This arrangement forms our knee. All muscle is prone to tighten if not stretched. When the tight muscles on the upper leg pull the bony attachment points of the lower leg together, then we get that aforementioned, mortar and pedestal effect. This is key. Cartilage is living material. Anytime that we can reverse a process and restore the space that has decreased, the body can begin to heal. The above progressive menisci tears are not inevitable, and may be reversible. Call Gary at 585-376-2225.